What's going on guys, Jackson here from Vendetta Sports Media, back with another NBA video for you guys today. Reminder, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, then hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new video comes out. A lot of you guys that watch these videos, most of our videos anyway, uh, NBA videos or other videos, you guys aren't subscribed. So please consider subscribing if you stop by. It'd be greatly appreciated by all of us here at Vendetta. So a few weeks ago, I did a video on who I think would be the starters or who I think should at least have been the starters for the NBA All-Star Game that's coming up. And voting, I think, is fixing to stop for the NBA All-Star Game. So that's why I'm kind of, you know, trying to get this video out. So again, like I said, I had done a video about who I think should be the starters. Now I'm going to do the entire rosters. Um, I believe there is 12 from the Western Conference and 12 from the Eastern Conference that should be able to get in. So I'm going to pick, tw um, well, I've already picked five technically from each conference. Uh, so I'll run over those real quickly. If you want my major explanations on to why I chose the starters, uh, link down in the description or popping up somewhere up here. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with it yet, but that video will be there. So go check out that video if you want a bit more in-depth detail onto why I chose the starters, but I will go over the starters real quickly uh, for both conferences. In the Western Conference, I had Steph, Ja, Jokic, and LeBron as my starters, and I had Paul George originally there as that fifth starter, but with him being injured, I decided to go ahead and in this video, choose a new starter for the Western Conference, um, Western Conference All-Stars, and I chose Cat, Carl Anthony Towns. I think he's having a pretty good season, and the uh, uh, the the Timberwolves, I don't know what I was fixing to say, lost the name for a second, but I think the Timberwolves have had a pretty, pretty good season so far. They were doing really well early on, then lost quite a few games in a row, and they hang in there for most games. Uh, won some big games, won some bad games, obviously, uh, but... I think he's done a fairly good job, and I think the team as a whole has done a fairly good job. Uh, they probably haven't reached their peak or what people think should be their peak yet. Uh, but yeah, I think Cat uh, uh, deserves to get that uh, that last that last spot as a starter. Probably again, still I could I could see where other people have arguments for other guys to go right there. Uh, but Cat was my my fill in now for the fifth starting spot in the West for the Eastern Conference. My starters were KD, Giannis, and B. Super easy. And then I had Demar Derozan and Zach Levine. I think Zach Levine should be good to go by the time the All Star game rolls around so I'm gonna leave him there as the other starter um, but nothing else to really go into there again if you want to know in detail why I chose everyone uh, go to the video link in the description up here whatever talking about the starters so now to go through the rest of the roster I'll give just short explanations I don't want this to be a terribly long video kind of want to keep it short sweet to the point so I'll say a sentence or two about why I think this person should get in also these are in no particular order it was just the first names that kind of popped to my mind and when I was looking at you know you know researching and everything um, on who I think should get in and and obviously yeah like the big names jumped out first for some of these um, so no particular order we'll start in the Western Conference um, getting the next spot, the sixth spot, the sixth person that I think should get in, uh, just outside of the starters, uh, is Luca, of course. Luca, that Mavs team is terrible without Luca. okay? They they cannot win basketball games without him. There is no flow, no movement to their offense without him. The offense runs solely through Luca, and if other players are having a good game, it is because Luca is uh, distributing the ball out there. He's also scoring, drawing a lot of attention from the defense. Get to see that on multiple nights when he plays um, versus when he doesn't play. It is a night and day difference between this team, and they are moving up the ranks in the Western Conference because Luca has been back he's been healthy and he's been playing tremendously probably won't get to be a starter i know a lot of people are saying that he should get that second starter spot instead of jaw um which of course you know is is, is fair it's fair you know i, I understand people got to go defend their guy you know just as much as i got to defend my guy and my my other guys um but luca gets the ne next spot next we got donovan mitchell that I, he should be back from concussion i think he's in concussion protocol right now and he should be back by the time of the all-star game uh, similar here, although it's kind of funny Rudy Gobert calling him out. Uh, he, he didn't like directly call him out, but he might as well have called him out at a press conference uh, the other night. 
but uh, Donovan Mitchell definitely he's he's having another great season. The uh, the Jazz are pretty much where they always have been the past like three seasons or so in the Western Conference. They've kind of dipped a little bit because Rudy Gobert has been out and their defense has plummeted because Donovan Mitchell really doesn't play defense, which that's what Rudy Gobert was calling them out for. But it is what it is. He's still having a great individual season, so he deserves to get that next spot. Uh, next, I've got Devin Booker. Uh, obviously, uh, key pivotal role in what Phoenix is doing. They're second in the West right now, or they're bouncing back and forth between second and first. It, it changes every night. So they're they're one of the top two teams in the Western Conference and one of the top maybe four teams in the entire NBA. Really good chance that they make it back to the Western Conference Finals, probably in a matchup against the Golden State Warriors. If I just had to go strictly on paper and what's been happening in the regular season on who would get in out of the Western Conference. Book, again, Tremendous season. Probably going to get in. This is... Now we're going to get into some of my fun picks. My first fun personal pick. Again, this is just... This is who I think should get in. It may not necessarily be 100% accurate on who gets in and who starts or whatever. This is just who I think should get in. If I was the ruler of the NBA All-Star Game and only I had the power to choose who should get to play in the All-Star Game, then these are the players that I think should get in. But first personal fun pick, Shea Gilgis Alexander, SGA. What a season he is having. having. He, is, he is turning into a star right before our eyes. I fully think that he can carry a franchise that OKC team they are just they're super young um lots of growth left in a lot of players Josh Giddy looks like a hit Lou Dort has been an amazing uh find and I mean everyone else is just is clicking well it's like they, they just they're not there yet they're an extremely young team they still need so many pieces because some of the pieces they have are are just awful you see what happens when SGA and Josh Giddy are out with that 73 point lost to, to Memphis. My my God, that still still blows my mind that that happened. But SGA 100% solidifies himself as an all-star this season. And I think because of the contract, I think he has an extended contract that he signed. And I think there's an incentive in there. If he if he becomes an all-star, maybe he gets, you know, some more money. So, you know, hey, big time to for uh, for SGA if he gets in, if it, if it were up to me again. Next, so kind of a surprise if if this was to happen the way that I have it written down, uh, but the uh, the Timberwolves would get two in there, and no, it's not D'Angelo Russell. It was Anthony Edwards. I honestly think Anthony Edwards may be the dude that has really helped turn this franchise around. He is balling. He puts up highlights every single night. It feels like, and that's that's part of being an All Star too. It's not necessarily being the best player all-star game is about bringing the most electrifying players to put them in one setting one night and to let them play absolutely no defense and drop almost 200 points a piece it feels like definitely one of the ascending stars of the nba i think he he can one of these days be a franchise leader especially because there's some character questions around and Carl Anthony Towns around Cat and uh, D'Angelo Russell about being able to lead a franchise. And there may still kind of be around Anthony Edwards, too. I mean, this is a guy that came in to the draft and said that he could leave it tomorrow for a rap career. Nonetheless, he's balling. And when you look at the list of people that are getting in, like there's some people that are above him that maybe could get in. But I, I, I honestly think that you would need to play for the majority of this season. Like, I think what Jaw has missed is probably the max he's missed what 12 games this season which then again this is more of a popularity contest anyway so but i still think ant should get in probably my most controversial take for here in the western conference the eastern conference was kind of easy the problem with the eastern conference for me was narrowing it down to 12 in the western conference it was really trying to expand it um but the controversial one here but i'm gonna show him some love Dejounte murray from the san antonio spurs this is a team that is definitely not performing up to the spurs way or what the spurs are used to but ever since Demar had moved away Dejounte murray has grown as a player and as a leader for that organization and i think he can be that dude he's definitely going to be 
that dude. I mean, obviously, if people in the NBA are thinking he can be that dude, or he at least is starting to be that dude, because the 76ers reportedly uh, early on in the season were thinking about trying to work out a trade with San Antonio to ship Ben Simmons to San Antonio and they get DeJounte Murray and obviously some other uh, pieces too but DeJounte Murray was a primary piece that was supposedly a part of any talks that were going on between the two teams and finally I put him in here because I I think he does get in this is like the one pick where I honestly don't know who would be the last person. I, I, I thought about it for a little bit and I just really didn't know. So I threw Andrew Wiggins in there because I think he's I think he gets in. I, I I think he does. Just the power that Golden State has, the fandom does through the fan vote uh, and through the media. Uh, I just I, I think he does get in. And he's having a great season, don't get me wrong. Um, now if, if now if there were like maybe four the four or five people that have been really injured or are injured and out that are above him, um, that are more, that would probably be more deserving to get in, you know, if they're healthy, then yeah, there's no way he's an all-star this season, but a sleuth of injuries and maybe another injury or two, maybe he's like chosen as an alternate or something. If someone decides to sit out, or if there's an injury or something, uh, but I went ahead and threw him at 12 to just go ahead and round out the Western conference. Now on to the Eastern conference, uh, number six, I have Trey Young. I mean, obviously, I had to put Trey Young uh, in here. I mean, despite the fact that Atlanta definitely has not lived up to the expectations that they came with into the season, uh, there's lots of talks that they need to make a massive move uh, about, you know, trying to get a second star beside Trey Young. Uh, they seem committed to Clint Capella. They dumped off Cam Reddish for Trey Knox, which, you know, had uh, Hawks fans all in a tizzy uh, over the past week. But, and you know, they probably should go ahead and try to find that second dude. Um, I, I just, again, I don't know why you move off of Cam Reddish unless you plan on using uh, Kevin Knox and that first round pick as part of a potential deal for someone. Again, I don't know. I won't spend too much time on it. But Trey Young definitely gets this sixth spot. Next, I've got Fred Van Vliet. 100% deserves to be in the All-Star game past two months it feels like this dude has just been on a roll and i mean there's nothing more that i could say about it are the raptors good no the raptors aren't really good but van vliet has been playing at an all-star level there's a lot of guys that have been playing at all-star levels and primarily in the eastern conference too players in the eastern conference on good and bad teams there's always someone that is balling out night in and night out it's not just like a general suckage from the teams you still have one legitimate baller on even terrible teams and the Raptors have one in Fred Van Vliet. 100% should be in the All-Star game. Next, I've got Jason Tatum. It just feels like he's going to get in. He's he's like one of those players that I feel like is always going to get in. Regardless of what type of year that the Boston Celtics are having, Jason Tatum is going to be that guy that gets in. I left Jalen Brown off this list. I'll go ahead and admit that. I just think he's missed too much time. Train. I don't know if you guys could could really hear it, and usually my mic picks it up, but you know, you know, I tried to. There it goes again. Yeah, but I left Jalen Brown off. I I think he's just, I think he's missed too much time. He's he's bald ever since he came back, and Tatum's numbers have kind of gone down a little bit ever since Brown came back, which is understandable. That's your uh, second uh, second star right next to you. Uh, I just think he's missed too much time this year, so I left him off. JT gets in, and no one else from the Boston Celtics gets in. So these next two are kind of a surprise. Well, first off, I'll go ahead and, and put this name out there because I put him at the bottom of the list. Again, this is not in any type of order, but James Harden, I think obviously it has to get in. I think the power of Brooklyn, I think the power of his name, um, and then the fact that he, he is having a pretty good season and the Nets are up there. They're always one, two, three, somewhere around in there in the Eastern Conference standings. Um, and he's played tremendously alongside of KD, but even with... Kyrie back. I don't think it's going to make too much of an impact uh, on Harden here going down the stretch, especially with voting ending fairly soon. I still think that James Harden gets in. So these these next three are pretty big. Um, big as in a sense that I 100% I think that all three of these dudes should get in. And the last one that I'll have, if he doesn't get in, then I'm going to be really upset. But probably the biggest surprise outside of the Timberwolves on my list, having two players get in, the Charlotte Hornets. I feel like have two players that have legitimate 
claims to get into the All-Star game. That is LaMelo Ball and Miles Bridges. The Hornets are fighting for a playoff spot right now, a little over halfway through the season, and it is because of these two players that they are in any position at all to make a run in the playoffs, or just to at the playoffs in general of getting into the play-in. Miles Bridges has taken a massive leap, both fi like figuratively when you talk about his, his basketball game, and physically because the dude is freaking jumping out of the gym and it's it's the showtime hornets <laughs> it feels like with lamello ball at the point miles bridges is up to averaging over 20 points a game he's averaging over seven rebounds a game too so he's he's a 20 and 7 guy that's that's all-star material right there and the same with lamello ball he's also averaging close to 20 points a game and he's averaging over seven rebounds a game along with almost eight assists a game so lamello definitely should get in and i I feel like Miles Bridges has an excellent case to get into. So give me the tandem out of Charlotte as getting in to the All-Star game. And now the final one that I have on here, he's a player that I have absolutely fallen in love with this season, and that is Darius Garland, point guard out of Cleveland. 100% this guy get, should get in. Absolute baller, okay? especially ever since Ricky Rubio went down with that injury, which Ricky Rubio did an amazing job stepping into a leadership role when Colin Sexton went down. But now that Sexton and Rubio have gone down, it has been Darius Garland that has held this team together. He is the glue that is holding this cat, th this Cavs team together, if I can find my words, holding this Cavs team together and has them at the middle of the pack in the Eastern Conference when 99% of the NBA, including myself really, didn't give them the light of day and didn't give them the respect that they've probably earned over halfway through the season being in this point. That's not necessarily a fluke. Barring any type of drastic injury, they're going to be a playoff team. They're not even going to be a play-in team. They are a solidified play-off team. And that's big for the Cavs. And I know they've got, they've got other players that are fantastic as well. But Darius Garland 100% deserves to be an all-star this season. I feel like we got this nice mix of old and young, the stars that are moving out and the stars of tomorrow all mixed together here in this all-star game. It's so hard because you have to leave off like Chris Middleton, you have to leave off Jimmy Butler, Bradley Beal, uh, Jeremy Grant for what it's worth. He's he's having a pretty good season despite being on um, one of the worst teams. I don't know if I'd call him the worst on the worst team, the Detroit Pistons the worst team because the Houston Rockets exist. They're probably the worst team. The Pistons might be the second worst team. Um, and I have to think on it a little bit more. You know, I could I could easily see even Tyler Hero getting in. I know a lot of people, you know, have the hots for him in NBA circles. He's all right to me, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, what do you think of my list? Is it a W? Is it an L? Do you think it's eh? You think it's some W's and some L's? Let me know in the comment section. Did I leave anyone out that you think should get in? Did I put someone in that you think shouldn't be in the All-Star game? Let me know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new video drops. This is Jackson Law from Vendetta Sports Media, signing off, and I'll see you guys next time.